Okay, now they can hear me. Good. Hi! Did you get the fly? Did you? Good job. Proud of you. Hmm, <laughs> can't see the chat yet. Hold on. People are probably talking, and I'm probably like... Probably like, oh, darkness is ignoring mm, us! Yet. Oh, train animator, you remembered? Man, he got me. I thought he'd forget. Oh, he wants me to build a really inefficient locomotive that I didn't want to build because I'm actually building an actual good railway. I know, he remembered! I told him, I, he, he got me. He got me, he got me. <laughs> All right, when we the game's got to load, give it a second, and I'll find a line where it's not as inefficient as it could be. Why would you not remember? I don't know. It was a few days ago. Maybe you forgot. Maybe I just thought maybe maybe you get distracted with anything else <laughs> other than having me build something that is in so many ways rock stupid. But look at me. I was wrong. It happens sometimes. Though very rarely. I don't know what you just said, but it sounded insulting. Uh-huh. Yeah. I won't tell anybody. Hello, kitty. How are you? What are you doing? Okay. No, I promised I'd build one. I didn't say I'd put it on a short line. Take up most of the short line. So dumb. What are you staring at me for? We'll fight? Yeah, that's right, you better look away. Coward. Triplexes can't be Garrett's because Garrett's only have two sets of driving wheels. Tri the Garrett's have more in common with duplexes than anything. Although they are, they're articulated, so they'd be simple articulates on the technical level. That's not very nice, Bailey. It's not very nice to bite me. Bailey. Bailey. Why just not bite He does that. I know. Ow! Put him down. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, now <laughs> he's gonna get you in the face. <laughs> My girlfriend's tormenting our cat. Do not give him catnip. It's two in the frickin' morning. <laughs> the triplex probably could have worked with further development, but it was just kind of one of those things where, like, they could have made it work, probably. They probably could have, with, you know, enough design refinements, but at the end of the day, it was a matter of why. It's very rare that they needed that much on, you know, raw power from a locomotive, and in the rare situation they did, they could just use two. A triplex, like, it's, 
it just it just didn't feel a niche at the time. Maybe if it was developed in like the 40s, it might have had a purpose because trains were longer by then. But it was the early 20th century. Trains were not long enough to warrant something like a triplex. It was barely long enough to warrant a duplex or a simple articulate. Remember, the big boys didn't become a thing until the 40s and were successful then, but they probably wouldn't have been if they'd been, had they made in the 1900s or the early 1900s. They were made in the 1900s, the early 19, like 1910s. I get that question a lot. If I could bring back a steam locomotive from extinction, which one would it be? Remember, most of my favorites are extinct. The Pennsylvania Railroad S1, S2, and the T1s are all gone. Um, so I would love to bring back one of them. Uh, I know the S2 was bad, and the S1... I mean, they, they, they're just so freaking cool. Um, you could pick any New York Central, uh, you know, an actual New York Central Hudson or the Niagara's would be interesting. Uh, certainly. But, um, I lean heavily towards Pennsylvania Railroad locomotives, so that's why I tend to go with them. Bring back the triplex. I, I wouldn't, because I don't know if, if it, like, the problem is, like, you don't, you don't see many preserved multiplex locomotives like even duplexes are pretty rare most of them are scrapped for one um but even like the articulates you don't you know outside of museums you don't see them running these heritage railways don't have freaking space for something like a triplex where would you put the stupid thing all right speaking of where am i putting that stupid thing that is an excellent question i have not yet determined this as of now these are my passenger lines. It's not going on a passenger line, I will tell you that much right now. It's already hard enough to make those profitable. Let alone, you know, with something like... Uh, this could work. It's a fairly long freight line. What do I have operating on it right now? Is my question. Uh... Oh, it's a 9,000. Okay, yeah, I can replace that. Alright. Alright. Train animator requested it and remembered... He's definitely earned the right for this. God. I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, This thing costs $26 million on its own. I just want you to know that. Behold the wonders of the quintuplex. <laughs> A 404. No driving wheels? What? Condition very good. Weight over a thousand tons. Top speed is only 50. Power 10,000 kilowatts. Power rating excellent. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Uh, it's called Transport Fever 2. I'm pretty sure it's a PC exclusive because of the nature. It's, you know, clicky around. I don't think they ever made a console port of this thing. I still cannot believe I was, was conned into building this stupid thing. I will replace this one day, but today is not that day. Alright, let's actually do something productive rather than building something apocalyptically stupid. I know some of my older trains are wearing out, so we gotta look at... What? Oh, right, yeah. probably aren't in very good shape, are you? Eh, it's in good condition still. 
It might be, uh, I mean, it's hard to, the geared locomotives has always been hard to, to, to explain in the white notation, because in some aspects, all their wheels are driven. So it's like, hmm? A, a thingy in house that can't be in the house. A centipede? A spider? A beetle? A spider? A bee? A snake? A mouse? What's in the house? Cricket? A beetle? A grasshopper? There's a praying mantis in the house. Oh, good lord. Hold on. I, there's a, there's a freaking, there's a, apparently a baby praying mantis in my house, and I have to go get it out of here before my cat finds it. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh, right, I'm back. Sorry. Yeah, it was a baby praying mantis, and I needed to put it outside. All right, GG1 should be fine. I do. I have quite a few dinosaurs back here. That is a thing I have. Behold. Behold the wonders, the power. Anyway. I gotta figure out uh, what I'm working with here. Oh, I still got I still got a Garrett down here. Well, your condition's really mediocre. Why are you losing money? Is my question. Is there something wrong with this? No, it shouldn't be. It might be that this one's too exp First of all, its condition's mediocre. Second of all, this thing is really big for just four cars. Oh, I have a lot of model trains. I don't have any set up right now, but I do have a lot of them. I'm gonna replace this Garrett with something else. Don't know what yet. I may just replace it with a diesel. Oh, I could replace it with the merchant class. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. That should be fine. I already have two J classes on the lines. I wanted to kind of branch it out a little bit more. 
That should be a bit more efficient for this particular route. We got this moving. Got Big Bertha moving, who's losing money, because of course she is. I'm not entirely shocked by that. Her condition's also pretty bad, too. Uh, so we'll replace her. Screwed that up quite a bit. Uh, hold on, hold on. You didn't, you didn't finish filling because of the way I did that. Let's, uh, let's turn that around and send you back. There we go. Another challenger, making money, that's what we like to see. There is... Electric, doing fine. How else are we looking? Where else? Where else? Got our trucks moving around, that's... they're fine. There's a Scotsman. Scotsman's making money. Uh, not in great condition, but I don't really, don't, I really feel weird about replacing the Scotsman. So I'm gonna do something different. Normally I don't do this because it does cost more money, but we can change the maintenance on him to very high. That'll increase his running costs quite a bit. But he's making pretty good money, and I believe, and if I up the maintenance, it'll put him in good condition. So we don't have to worry about that so much. Only because it's the Scots. We have a K4 doing K4 things. Doing well there. Hiawatha doing Hiawatha things. Actually not making that much money, but I think that line's still fairly new. You're not making money. And I'm not surprised by that. I'm really not shocked at all. This is ridiculous. Even from a speed perspective, this is so dumb. I'm going to struggle to make that line profitable, and I just want you to know that. So, what else are we looking at here? Um, we have another 9,000 hauling wood. Another one over here somewhere. Hiding. There he is. Oh, we have our tiny little UP 4466. Not making a tremendous amount of money right now, but it's so small. Too worried about. Let's actually set up a new line, shall we? I think that's what we can do. Uh, I think our condition for most things. Let's, let's actually look at these. At the chart. Uh, condition. Ah, yeah, your condition's mediocre. Uh, I could replace you with a diesel, but I'll let it go for now. Uh, that one's not doing great, but that's doing making money, so eh.
How much does this game cost right now? Uh, good question. I will check the Steam page for you. Give me a moment. Store page. Currently, the game is available. It's still $39.99. Um, I would say it's worth it just for the level of content and mods. But you can always wait for a sale. It's Steam. Um, but right now it is $39.99. I forget what I... I, th I don't think I paid full price for it. I think I got, a, got it with like 50% off or something. Memory service. But I got it years ago, so who knows. Um, still cannot believe they haven't made a sequel yet. Um, but they have been making successful updates to the game. So, hey. Can't complain about that. I mean, I can, but I won't. So, back to what I was doing. Which was trying to figure out... I need to... Bring... What I want to do... Okay, so Stanford actually has or is in a really good spot because it needs wrenches, tools. And it has a tool plant right here. But I need to bring cut wood. So there's... Oh, hold on. No, I'm already doing that. I already did that. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot to have the trucks moving here. So we're already taking care of that. Never mind. Forget I said anything about that. Um, let's try Charlotte. Charlotte needs bread. Is there a... There's a bakery over here. And there's, like, I could... The problem is getting the bread there, I think. Um, well, yeah, tell you what, what I could do... Um, looking at it, yeah, that would work. I could make a, make another line... Make them share this spot. Um, I don't want to share that one. We would share this one. Um... And I could have the trucks deliver the bread. Where does the bread need to go in town is the real question. Hold on a second. Buildings. Uh, it's close enough that it, that would be fine. That would be a fine thing to do. Um, so, okay. What I am going to do is, we're, first of all, we're going to get a bunch of trucks. Uh, which... Where am I? Where's my... I don't have a depot here, so I have to build one of those. Fine. And you're gonna drop everything off here. And pick it up here. Trucks, 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 So, we need you to do one of these. Always build more trucks than you think you need. Trust me, trucks are easy to make profitable. Which, just upsetting, but it's a fact of life. Uh, <laughs> and out they come. And what we'll do, the trucks will drop everything off here, and then they'll make the bread, and then I'll bring the bread. Actually, I could bring the bread to several places. This place, uh, frickin', uh, Spokane needs bread, too. Is there an easier way to get bread to Spokane? Not really. So, I may just have the trucks deliver the bread to Spokane, because it's so close that building a rail line here seems really unnecessary. I don't even know if it would be profitable for me to do that. So, we're gonna make a drop-off point for that. And then we'll make some more trucks to deliver the bread to Spokane. Which has to be a covered wagon. Done. We'll make less than... Less than we made to deliver the grain, because we're gonna... It's gonna have to split off between that and the train route. Okay. Now we need a cargo station. Just one line. No, we need to get fancy with it. Put that here. Let's take a look. See how can we need to lay this out? Um. Oh, it's going to share the line. I'd rather it share this one rather than any other. So if you're going 
to build. Goes through here. Come on, game. Work with me on this. This really won't be that difficult as long as you play along. Now we need signals to make sure the planes, the trains, don't get hung up on each other. And I believe you're crossing another line of track. Yes, you are. We need a line of crossings here. So the trains know to frickin' stop, lest something awful happen. The question is what locomotive it is. It's a fairly long route, but not like super long. So I think we can get away with like a tank engine or something. I kind of like to use a tank engine. I don't have, I don't have too many tank engines. Uh, so... We are not using the big boy for this route. I will replace something else with a big boy in a moment. I'm sure plenty of you want me to use the big boy, and that's fine, but not for this route. That would be rock stupid. Oh, we could use the, the a large, uh, probably even a small prairie for this. Yeah, we have a small prairie for it. Why not? That is the wrong secondary station. Forget you saw that. That's the one we want. My favorite tank engine? I am so partial to Thomas even though the A2s are terrible. Uh, I, <laughs> I know, it's just one of those things, I grew up with Thomas, and like, I always like, Thomas, like, the E2s look really aesthetically pleasing, like, they're, like, functionally they're not great, but like, you know, they look really good. Sound effects attached to this mod, I like it. So theoretically, we should be. There should already be. I want to make sure this is this line is actually working the way I want it to. Now, the grain is appearing there, which means it is going here. Oh, I know what I did wrong. I know what's wrong with that. Hold on, I could, I gotta fix that real quick. That was dumb of me. This also needs a truck station. They, they can't pick up from there, only drop off. The depots don't work for that purpose, which means I gotta change the, what the covered wagons are doing. Uh, the line needs to switch. Hold on, there's line. That needs to go, and then we need to add that. I should fix it. Okay, we just, uh, 
We just got the big boy, didn't we? I guess we gotta put that somewhere, don't we? What's a good line for the big boy? Or could I really use one of those? Could be a long freight line. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Big chunkus. You can't be in that. Oh, your condition's not bad. I like trolleys. Just so we're clear. How are you doing? Good condition, okay. <laughs> Bless you. No, it's struggling really hard. Maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I need something larger. Something larger, big chunkus for a tank engine, anyway. I had the hush us at one point, it's just really inefficient, so I replaced it. I also had the fury, actually. Hush hush, but way freaking worse. Uh. <sighs> you know, it's nineteen forty four. Maybe we should start investing in planes. I bet we should do that. Sounds fun. Something different. Something different, something exciting. So we'll put... We'll, we'll, we'll do two opposite sides of the map is what we'll do. Um...
Hold on. Terrain's killing me. You also look like, uh, technically I have well, I have a mod that means nothing nothing goes like I can buy the oldest thing in the game still so it th I have that turned off uh, or I have a mod that lets me do that so right now I'll show you in a second as soon as I'm done getting this road taken care of what do you mean construction is not possible what's wrong with that there you go Alright, now we need a station here. And we'll need to add it to the trams route. Where are you? There you are. Boop. That's one airport taken care of. Now we're gonna go all the way to the other side of the map, because planes only really work at long distances economically. So I gotta make sure that whatever it is is going as far as I can make it, which I'm pretty sure is over here. Station. Here we go. Oh, not that one. Not Oak Street. That one. Oh, could not connect. Why? What's wrong with it? It's not electrified. Why? It should have been turned on. I could have sworn I had that turned on. Weird. Okay, hold on. Let me fix it. Ta-da! Fixed. No idea why that turned off. Hmm. Odd. Okay. Anyway, got that taken care of. Okay, so now we need planes. But it's... <laughs> Not right now. Uh, let's do a DC-4 instead. moving. Uh, as for the question of what's the oldest locomotive I can buy, hold on, where is a, I need to find a train depot to show you. Where are you? There is one. There it is. Okay, so as of right this second, well, it's not going to change, you know, because like I said, they're, they're infinite. The oldest locomotive, not those. Uh, John Bull. At the John Bull. Um, so that's from 1831. Camden Amboy's Monster is from 1835. I have the 620 John Stevens from 1850. I have the Fire Queen from 1850. I have the Baldwin Six Wheels from 1850. The D-1-3rd from 1850. Most of these are from 1850. Um, yeah, a lot of these are saying 1850. So, But the oldest one in the game right now seems to be my... I modded in the John Bull. Um, so there, that's, that's your answer. Got a bunch of new, well, those are mostly just new s cosmetics, not new locos. Um, so yeah, I could put a John Bull somewhere. I am not going to do that. I don't think Stevenson's rocket is here. Uh, let me look again. I, I want to say it is, but it may not be. Uh, doesn't look like it, which is interesting. That means it's not even a mod, because I would have seen that and taken it immediately. 
Uh, yeah, it looks like Stevenson's Rocket is not in the game in mod form or otherwise. And I have a lot of mods. Which city is that happening in? Line four. Over here. Do I not have any freight going to this city that's promoting growth? I don't. Let's get some freight to Wichita, because that's a serious problem. Uh, oil looks like the easiest. They want it, and there's, there's a refinery right there. So I gotta figure out how to make... There's crude oil here, but I gotta process it and then t I gotta refine it and then turn it into gasoline. But I could do that in Wichita, I just need to figure out where is... Where's a friggin' refinery? There's no refinery. That's probably why I haven't done it. There's no refineries on the side of the map. Uh, I, you know what? I usually don't do this, but I'm just gonna build one uh, if uh, the game will allow me to do that. Industry. Here we go. We need an oil refinery. Boop. All right, we will put that here. This is a good spot for it, right here. Use the big boy to go to Wichita? Uh, it's far enough that I might be able to get away with something like that. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> this short route isn't going to be a big boy, but the long one might be. I'll look at it in a second. Let me get this taken care of first. I could probably get a big w away with a big boy on this line. Looking at it, it's long enough to warrant that. In fact, I'll make it extra long just because. Line it up, come on! There, there you go. All right, and we gotta build the tracks. Okay, so now, want the big boy to go there, so alright, that's fine. Not the challenger, the big boy. There we go. Sweet. 
That's a whole bunch of tank cars. Just, just so, so many. That should be enough. That'll be able to even fill that much, but we'll see. We might be able to. Oil production can be very high sometimes. What? The heck is wrong with it? Oh, I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. <laughs> I built nothing but passenger stations here, not freight stations. Oh my god, hold on, I gotta fix that. There's, uh, one problem fixed. Oh, not at the track! Ugh. Hey, Samu. Uh, I'm dumb, is what the problem is, is how it's going. But it's okay, I'm fixing the issue. <laughs> well, get some sleep, train animator! Staying up and ruining your test on my account. Fix that problem.
No deer, watch out! Oh, that tunnel got really glitchy, didn't it? Mm. <laughs> it's a Finnish locomotive! That should boost that town. Now that has some freight coming and going. Did you make me do this? The rest? Huh? Okay. Thank you. Hmm? Huh? No, I'm good. No freight going here either. You want? Uh, I see why San Francisco wants two things that are really annoying. Um, both require heavy manufacturing. Uh, that's not too far though. So let's think about this. Wood shouldn't be that hard. It's the steel that's the problem. Well, steel might not be that difficult either. Looking at the situation. I have Alco PAs available now, as well as the leader class, uh, Baldwin DT662000. Uh, yeah. Okay, got some, got some good options. Good options. Alright, so let's, uh, let's pause and then think about how I want to do this. Do we want to do this whole thing by truck? I might. I want to do the whole thing by truck, and maybe the easiest way to do it, just because there's already a lot of rail lines here that are clogged up. They're already crossing over each other anyway, and they're both right here. I mean, I'm going to take... Yeah, we'll just 
just do it all by truck, at least here. I'll, I'll do a rail line from here to here to get the gears there, but the actual everything else is going to be by truck. I think that'd be the best way, just in this particular installation. I, I, you know, I'll, obviously, I always prefer to build trains, but in this aspect, I don't think that's going to be the best way to go about it. Um, just because of the terrain we're dealing with and everything else, really. There. Perfect. Okay. Need another one going to here. I built the track later. I'll focus on. Uh, we need a truck station. There's a truck station everywhere. Actually, this only needs a drop off, doesn't it? Because nothing's coming from here by truck. Here's our station. Should the quadri quadriplex <laughs> quadrip <laughs> uh, be high pressure? I mean, that might have helped, but it, it it you know it depends. I mean, a lot of the like, technically speaking, the T1, which was a duplex, operated at a higher pressure too. Um, it isn't viewed as such, but technically, you could argue that it was. So there's that to consider. Um, hold on, I'm trying to get my roots straightened out. Where's the nearest woodcutting industry? Of course it is. Well, I could make that happen. I could make that happen. Let's do it. We want one more train involved here, don't we? Just for funsies, let's do a suspension bridge. Why not? Got a whole bunch of new stuff to work with, so let's take a look, see? Uh, ooh, we'll do a Baldwin. We'll do a Baldwin. Do we want the re-engined? Yeah, we'll do the re-engined one. Just because that probably sounds that sounds better logically.
Look at that long nose boy. Alco be like, make it long, but how will they see? I don't care. Make it long. I think we got away with it because we always had these side things on here. So it's more like a steam engine. So I think in that regard, these were fine by American standards. With the, like, the Class 17, which had a similar design, like, it just wasn't having it. Plus, I think they made it so that the Class 17 is supposed to be seen, like, over the nose, not around the nose. And that really changed the look. You know, or how, you know, the vision standard they were working with. Alright, now I gotta get these trucks out here. That's the next step in the order of operations. There's always an order that's more efficient involved here. I think... Do I already have a... No, I don't. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, so we need a whole... Just a whole mess of trucks. Just a whole mess of trucks. Um... You guys are taking... The or do the coal. you guys do the coal? Taking it. Where are we taking it? Taking it over here. Yes. You guys will do the ore. You guys will take the steel. From here to here. And then one more, one more, one more. One more set of so many trucks. You guys take the wood, well, the cut wood lumber, I suppose they would call it, to here and bring it over here. Ta-da! Yes, I remember you told me that, Samu. The trucks are moving out! The room! Military surplus for the win! Why are the trains in the middle of the city? Where do you, where else do you put them? Are they not where you are? Because every train station I know of around here is literally smack dab in the middle of the major city. Pennsylvania, uh, Philadelphia, Harrisburg, Pittsburgh, Baltimore, New York. 
Chicago, Detroit, like all the train stations in America are in the middle of the major cities. It's just the like where, where would you put them other than that? They they have to be near the major hubs of population centers. Be kind of dumb otherwise. Oh, that's no. They they would put that on a, on a passenger run. Let's let's be logical about this. Uh, what do I want on here? What do I want? What do I want? What do I what, what do I want? Tell me what I want. I don't know what I want. Do I want Thomas? Do I want to just put Thomas out there? Let's just put Thomas out there. What the heck with it? Thomas can deliver that. Never do that in this game. The new st why? If the train station could fit, there's really no reason not to. They'll build the, the 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 city growth will go around the station without much of a hindrance. I haven't noticed any efficiency loss doing that. Um, speaking strictly about the game, that's just me though. I mean, maybe you think it's better to, you know, bridge it with the trucks, but I I try to avoid. To be honest, I'm I'm so biased towards rail that I just try to avoid using trucks. Though I did just make a whole ton of truck routes, so hey, you know, obviously we have a lot of, a lot of, just, this, this just looks like an, a, a military uh, thing moving out. These are, these are, these are not, it is not what it looks like. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's look at our, Let's see what we can, we can, we, we, we gotta get Nalco PA out here. Uh, those planes are losing so much money. Um, So, we need to replace something that's not really in good working order. And most of the conditions are pretty good. Oh, those are all trucks, though. They're, they're, they're pretty recent, so I'm not surprised they're in good shape. Um, most of my passenger locomotives are doing fine. Um, that's losing money. That's due, that's due to city growth, not due to the, the, the locomotive itself. Hmm. Oh, we could replace this, though. It's... It's still... It's still, you know, looking alright. Oh, no, that's mediocre. Let's do that one. Let's do that one. He's always been kind of out of place. Oh, emissions! Ah, that's a good point. I never really, I never really, <laughs> I gotta be honest, I never really focused on emissions. Um, but that does make sense. It does make a lot of sense. We'll do a, we'll do a let's do a Pennsylvania. The brown ones a bit more. Well, this isn't a super short run. I mean, it's not the longest in the world, but it's like kind of a medium length. I think we'll get away with it. I don't think we'll get away with it. That one's just trucking along just fine. How's our big boy doing? Money! We like it. We like it. Challenger's doing good too, yes. Eh, not great, but 
in the in in the in the green in the black in the black we like it in the black. This one. The power rating's good though. Uh, just not in great condition, but the power rating's very good. It is a pretty short run, isn't it? I think I can lengthen that train to move more at once and replace this locomotive entirely. Should I use the leader class for that? <laughs> oh, sure. Just for funsies. <laughs> God, I still hate the. I, I hate the. Like, I like the fact that the leader's a mod, but I, I'm not gonna. No, no shade being thrown to the modder. The model for the leader is, is pretty gross. It, it's not really the greatest model in the world. It's, it's one of the weaker ones in the game. You know, it's only the general shape and just kind of a flat palette. It's really not that impressive from a modeling standpoint. Um, but there you go. You are... Yeah, your condition's pretty bad. We'll place you... Something like... Let's do the, do the one without the, the change in engine. cars that's pulling because it's really not taking that much bread back here. There's the bread. lot of trucks on this road. Um. Hi, trucks. I'm dead. There's, there's a lot of trucks. There's uh, Arguably, there's too many trucks. I see. We'll just that is indeed that... arguably too many trucks. There, 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 I, I will let that be for the moment at this time. It is not something that I'm going to deal with right this second. Um, How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Why are you always awake at like 3 a.m.? I feel like eating Cocoa Pebbles. Fair assessment. Carry on. That is quite literally the only reason why I'm still awake.
Oh no! The plane! No! Oh no, we have a terrible accident that's occurred! Uh, oh, it's just clipping through the trees. Excellent. Perfect. Yep, that was fine. Uh, uh, that, uh, that is a plane going back into its natural habitat. Uh, obviously. Uh, a normal person would have cut, would have dug out this mountain here to give the planes a way to take off, but you know, game logic, I don't have to worry about nothing. I'm just looking at my need train, and I have just fully given up. Given up? And understanding Kane's taste in, in video games. I've tried for a long time, you know, I'm putting my hat in a ring, it was, it was a really good try. Kane has very specific needs, and rarely does he find them fulfilled. I... What confuses me is that a game that, the Tower of Fantasy game has the worst UI I've ever seen, and he says it's better than Genshin's, which is terrible and i'm like are we like are we looking at the same thing again kane that's just the way he is like uh kane's great no i understand you know i don't believe me i don't always agree with him either but part of his problem like you have to remember kane can't see so oh, I, ui issues what? like that may not be noticeable to us at all Really? The issue I have with the UI is that it's literally half transparent, so if it's on any background, you literally can't see it. Like, not just if you if you have a hard time seeing certain things, or if you have, like, bad eyes. It's like, no, even, like, the- I feel like even the most sane person would still not be able to see something that's 20% opacity on a bright background. But maybe I'm crazy. I'm probably crazy. It's okay. I love Kane. I'm just still... I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, I saw the argument earlier. I will never be able to give him good video game advice because I... No matter how hard I try, I don't feel like I understand his taste all that well. I know. What he would really, 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 really not like. What's but... that? <laughs> PvP shooters. Well, we knew that. That's obvious. <laughs> He's been complaining about those for years. Uh, he also hates the gaming industry. Well, yes. I was gonna joke and say Klonoa's old sound bites, but... <laughs> Too soon? It might be too soon. Kane's. I, I've tried to explain it to him, and the problem is, my explanation only upsets him more. Because I'm like, the companies have to appeal to the mass market, and this is what people want. And he's like, well, people are dumb. And I'm like, the world is imperfect. I'm like, yes, that's, that's how it goes. And I'm like, I can't. There's no solution here, Kane. It's like. You're weird. And that's okay! I just wish he I, would, I just wish he could find a niche like that he really likes. Like I like these slow paced strategy games. I can chill and relax, but he wants four player co op. In an action RPG. Could I introduce him to the riveting game of Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric? In in, in an action RPG that isn't an MMO. Which is hard to hard to narrow down. That's a wait. Kane knows that Tower of Fantasy is straight up an MMO, right? He's weird about MMOs. Sometimes he gives them pass for reasons that I don't understand. It's an MMO, but it's Tuesday, so they gotta pass. No, it's not even that. I think it's just if, like if, if the gameplay's solid enough, he's, he he can he can look. Oh no, I'm I'm just kidding. I know. Like if, if the gameplay's solid enough that he can get over that part, that's it's totally not a, it's not a deal breaker for him. Oh, 
I'll be real with you, Frowny13. I play this game to chill out and just have fun with it. And I really only play it because I like trains. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things and planes and stuff. So in terms of, like, efficiency and emissions, it's not really something I get that much into. If I want to into... If I want into those... If I want into those kind of details, I'd be playing one of my grand strategy games, which I have to pay attention to use those details. But for this, you know, I play through, I play through the, the whole story. I got all the objectives. You know, I don't really need to try that hard. Especially when what I'm just... What are you drinking? Are you drinking a gallon of something? Oh, that's sweet tea. Why waste a glass when I can just drink it? I'm the only one in the house that drinks it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, um, because other people might drink it? Nope, don't have to worry about that. My girlfriend and I drink completely... She she drinks lemon lemonade tea. I don't like lemonade tea. So... Oh, I love half lemonade, half iced tea. Like, like half... And when I lived alone, I lived alone, so... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Uh, it kind of reminds me of it in my in my high school. Like I went to a school, high school that was like very like uh, sports heavy, so a lot of kids would walk around with like water bottles. And it started becoming a game with the senior class and who could bring the biggest water bottle. People were bringing in like five gallon jugs of water to school and carrying it to every class. And you would just see them like. Bunch of kids holding one gallon, two gallon containers and just chugging it in class. Yeah, my school didn't allow drinks at all. My school was pretty chill. You were even allowed to like have headphones and listen to music while you were working as long as you finished your stuff by the end of the period. That kind of stuff varied based on the teacher. Technically it was forbidden, but a lot of teachers were like, whatever. You know, they weren't really worried about that. But the drinks, the problem is they were worried about kids bringing alcohol to school. Which had happened before. Half of the kids in my school smoked, and or did drink on campus, it, and or it's that it's, smoked weed. Listen, so it's, it's it the like, difference between a small suburban school and an inner city school. There's only so much the inner city schools can cut break. Cut, you know, it's they, yeah. No, we y'all had other issues to worry about. The senior <laughs> class alone was 900 kids. I mean, we were pretty big too. But, you know, there were there weren't as, there was wasn't as much like violence and drugs and stuff like that. Yeah. So they had cut down on they, they had to you know. This isn't a school where like there was violence because it was New York or whatever. This was rich kid school, which oh. goes by a completely different standard of mess. Oh well, than I've well, ever well, seen. well, well, rich kids obviously don't do anything wrong. So you know. I've never. I, 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 I went from the boonies to rich kids' school. And let me tell you, seeing people being like, oh yeah, I like drove down to El Paso, got like a four, like a four or five star hotel, and then we went drinking and like bar hopping all night. And then we drove back to school. We just got here an hour ago. It's 10 o'clock. I have a hangover. And I'm like, do, do rich kids just like do this stuff? Do they just. Uh, to, answer your, to, to answer your question, Frowny. Um, yeah, I have the infinite money mod enabled specifically so I can chill. But believe me, I know if I, w if I if that was off, I would actually have to pay attention. Now, I'm reasonably trying to make lines, you know, that are profitable. And for the most part, I'm actually succeeding in that. These, the, the trucks haven't really done well, but those are just made. But, like, overall, you know, like, these these are all good. You know, this, this one, this one's still not doing so hot, but I think it's because of city growth. I took a while to get freight to that particular city, so I'm still waiting on that. But, like... You know, but 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 infinite money is enabled, um, so I don't have to worry about my profit margin that much. Um, anyway, sorry, Addy, go ahead. No, you're good. It's just never have I seen corruption like a very much homogenized rich kid school. Cheerleaders would seriously walk up to their teacher and be like, Hey, I have a game, and technically I can't go if I have a failing grade. And the teacher would be like, Okay, I'll fix it to a, a B. Thank you, and they'll just walk away. That's literally just what would happen every day. But why are... Why are Gen Zers so dumb? Hmm. 
I don't know. Bribe their, if we bribe put our heads away. together, perhaps we can find the solution <laughs> to this problem. And but can, like, it will take all our brain power and combined resources to determine. It will take all our brain power and combined resources to determine. My girlfriend's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I promised her I wouldn't yell. I didn't realize how loud I was getting. My bad. But yeah, it's just... Before that, I went to a very poor school that had a completely different set of issues. And I just... I was... People say, like, why does the U.S. talk as if every state is important enough to remember the name of? It's just the U.S. And I go, because you don't understand that there's like, genuinely culture shock by just going to a different state. Yeah, like, wait, wait, who, who says this? A lot of, a lot of, like, uh, European people think that Americans are pretentious for saying what state they're in when, when people ask, like, where are you from, instead of saying the U.S. Okay, the state okay, Here, here's some, here's some real, real talk for, for any European that thinks that. Um, the reason why we do that is that, for our purposes, states might as well be, like, neighboring countries to you. Because we're so large. You know, a lot of our states are bigger than some European countries, and I guarantee most Europeans are taught what countries they neighbor. It's really no different, and as you point out, many cultures, there's a, there's a big culture shift between states sometimes. Like, you know, based off of where we're from. Like, there's a big, there is a vast, enormous difference in culture between, say, New York and Texas. Just yes, to give you a personal much. example. <laughs> Um, there is a vast difference between New Jersey and California. There is a vast difference between everywhere and Florida. I... <laughs> <laughs> hmm? True. Hmm? Except for maybe Georgia. So Georgia's want... kind of getting on that Florida pipeline. Mean? So what do you want me to do? So you go to bed? Because I'm talking. Okay, I'll finish up here. Okay, give, me, give me like five minutes. I know. Go sleepy bye. Good night. I love you. I'll be done in a second. Okay, my girlfriend wants to bed, so I have to wrap up what I'm doing. <laughs> Understandable. Anyway, but but yeah, that's that's why we do that. Like like the, you know, they obviously don't don't logically understand why we do that. It's not a matter of you know being and also 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 as someone who has who has you know. A significant level of Europeans in my fan base right now. A lot of them, like the like, there's this, you know, like I know, you know, one in the, in the server, there's the one dude from the Netherlands who's like, well, you know, there's actually other things in the Netherlands. Like Holland is not the Netherlands, and you need to know that. And I'm like, okay, so we can't say what state we're from, but we should know the difference between the regions of the Netherlands. <laughs> I'm not saying he's wrong for that. I'm simply saying that don't get on our case. Like, don't get on our case. We're similar. Now, in 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 all fairness, in all fairness, Americans can be pretty full of themselves. True. We can be very, very, very. We are routinely we're like the one that's like we. Are the greatest country on earth, and you know that can be annoying. It, even if it's true, it's annoying to constantly state that. <laughs> like, like, you know, it's just one of those things where it's like, please stop. You don't have to. You don't have to. We don't have to keep saying it though. Like, even even if we genuinely think that's the case, you don't need to say it. Cause it's just like. Okay, rude. Pretentiousness doesn't garner any sympathy from other countries. No. But I mean, it's not just an American thing. People get patriotic about a lot of things. Like, you ever talk to anyone from another country? Like, a lot of people get very, very, very defensive. You know, about, you know, like, my country is awesome, and here's why. And it's like, g great. But, like, say it's the UK, like, didn't you just, like, remove your prime minister? 
for a suit. Like, that did just happen, didn't it? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, I don't, I don't want to hear a word out of any of you right now. I, I actually kind of forgot that, that You happened. guys can get alarmingly <laughs> silent about the Boris thing. You were on our case about Trump, and that was fair. That was totally fair. But Boris, guys, come on. I, <laughs> Trump at least knows how to use a comb. Speaking of the orange man, did you hear about the FBI and him? I heard that his that he got raided. He got raided, he got put into a sworn deposition where he then pleaded the fifth, even though he had been on record in 2016 telling all of his opposition that was making- that was like, right- not writing. I don't know if it was writing. During his election, he was like, why are you pleading the fifth that they're being arrested? Are you hiding something? Yeah. Gets- gets put into a sworn deposition. I plead the fifth. Yep. Everything he said. You know, he, he didn't answer any questions. He just invoked his Fifth Amendment rights, and it's like, well, by your own logic here, um, are you hiding something? I mean, <laughs> just saying, like, you, that, 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 that is his amendment right, he's allowed to do that, but it just strikes me as a little, sus, sus, little pretty sus. Pretty sus. And, Plus. and oh. I, I have to answer Cordage's question before I go. It's not really a question, it's just a statement, it's a point. And, okay, look. You bring up the Vietnam War with some Americans. Um, and they get tilted. And you know, look, it was a really complicated situation. And it wasn't a matter of winning or losing. We were like, you lost. We didn't lose, we just left. We would have won, but it was a matter of was it worth it at that point? And it wasn't, so we were just like, whatever. You know, we probably shouldn't have been there in the first place, but, you know, communism and all that. So, it's not really a great spot for us, because we are very prideful about our military infrastructure and our ability to win wars, and in that situation, we didn't really win. We didn't lose, but we didn't win because we couldn't have won because we left. How could we win if we just left? We forfeited is what happened. We didn't surrender. We just forfeited the game. We were like, we're not playing anymore because, you know, the the, the view of the war was very negative for, you know, for a while at that point and it, we were getting, you know, getting our own guys killed in a horrific jungle over something that really at the end of the day we were like does this ma how much does this matter in the grand scheme of things we'd already kind of learned our lesson with the korean war at least there we brokered some level of peace though between the two sides which is still shaky but at least they talk now vietnam was not going to happen that way and we weren't wasting any more resources on it Anyway, I need to go let my girlfriend actually get some sleep because she has to go to work tomorrow.